Hey guys, today's video is a recipe for hazelnut milk ice cream with summer peaches. And it's brought to you today in a partnership I'm doing with Pacific Foods. They have lots of different products, but today's product is all about the hazelnut and it is going to blow your mind. Now one of my favorite things about this product besides the amazing taste is the nutrition. It's packed with vitamin E and folic acid as well as calcium and vitamin D. And it also comes in chocolate. But for today's recipe, we're going to start by separating eggs. Now to separate eggs, you can use an egg separator, but I like to keep my kitchen clean and that means using things that already exist like eggshells. So I'm going to do six eggs and I know that seems like a lot, but this recipe actually serves eight people. And please do not get rid of those egg whites that you are separating out. Use them for a different recipe, maybe breakfast, maybe a sham tort. But for this, you are just going to use the egg yolks. Once the egg yolks are in the dish, go ahead and whisk them together and slowly add in sugar in small increments. So you're gonna add a little bit of sugar, you're gonna whisk. So after you are finished whisking your egg yolks and sugar together, we are going to move on to the beautiful part of adding the hazelnut milk. You're gonna add three cups of Pacific Foods hazelnut milk and you are going to then add it onto a pot over the stove. Now you're gonna put it on medium, you want it to simmer a little bit and you want it to heat and then you're going to bring it back and you're going to add the two together for a process called tempering. So with the process of tempering, your basic goal is to make sure that the eggs stay nice and creamy and don't curdle and turn into scrambled eggs. And you do that by slowly increasing the temperature. So we're going to take that warmed hazelnut milk and slowly add it into the egg yolk mixture, whisk it together. So when you have about half of the hazelnut mix already in with the egg yolks, you can go ahead and add the remaining half and give it one more good whisk. One more thing I do want to add about the hazelnut milk is how distinctive the taste is. I think you are really going to enjoy it. I had never tried it before I started working with Pacific Foods and it is this beautiful, distinctive, but sweet, nutty flavor and it even keeps after you freeze it, which doesn't often happen I find when you make ice creams. The flavors don't really linger, but this one absolutely does. So this next step is technically optional and it is adding xanthan gum. The job of xanthan gum is a stabilizer and what it's going to do is help reduce that iciness in your ice cream that you sometimes get when you make it at home. That xanthan gum is going to keep it nice and creamy and while it is technically optional, I do find it really improves the texture. So that mixture is going to go into the fridge and chill and you're going to pour it into your ice cream machine with the frozen shell to get it nice and creamy. This process takes about 15 minutes if the ingredients are chilled and you're going to get that very beautiful creamy texture just like this. I should also mention that this is the perfect place to sneak a bite or two, or three, or four, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful, but you could go ahead and put it in the freezer for an additional 30 minutes to one hour, which is what we did for this process. And while it is freezing, I went ahead and chopped these peaches and I prepped the other ingredients that are going to act as toppings. So just as one quick tip, you see those glasses are frozen. It keeps them nice and chilly so the ice cream stays frozen a little bit longer. And then you're gonna top it with some sliced peaches, the chopped hazelnuts, and some torn fresh basil leaves. So that is it for today's recipe. To get the full instructions and the full ingredients list, head over to the blog, which we'll link below. And let me know if you have ever had hazelnut milk before and what you are making with it because, oh my gosh, this is all I wanna drink right now, especially in summer. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.